Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Star Wars Coffee, where today I will finally be getting to my review of Chapter 6 of The Mandalorian, The Prisoner. That's today here on Star Wars Coffee. I have spoken. Hello there to all of the returning subscribers, but if you're new to the channel and you're just finding me for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button on this video and any other video from the channel that you check out, and be sure to hit that notification bell so that the bell is completely filled in, as this is the way you will never miss a new video the second it goes live. Do it. Before we go any further, I'm just going to throw out a spoiler warning, just in case there's anybody who's farther behind on The Mandalorian. So if you haven't seen Chapter 6, The Prisoner, this has been your spoiler warning. My overall impressions of this episode was essentially that it wasn't my favorite episode, but it was very entertaining. And the thing I liked most about this episode of The Mandalorian is that it had a Batman meets Star Wars type of feel to it. Specifically, the Christopher Nolan verse where we had The Batman Begins, The Dark Knight, and The Dark Knight Rises. Those films... Um, the way that that was shot, the way Christian Bale was able to move as Batman in those films really kind of gave me that hearkening back to this Mandalorian episode type of feel. So I really, really enjoyed that. The way it was shot, it was all very cool. And there were a lot of celebrity cameos in this episode, which really kind of made it hard for me personally to get into it from a this is a Star Wars universe, I'm fully engaged with it, storytelling perspective. I didn't care much for his crew, to be completely honest. There were too many celebrity cameos. Um, when I saw Bill Burr, the main thing that I thought of was of his role in Daddy's Home, where Mark Wahlberg just completely pushes him over in Daddy's Home and Daddy's Home 2. I never watched anything else that he was in. I never watched um, Breaking Bad. I never watched F is for Murphy. I never watched... Uh, Kroll show. I never watched any of that type of stuff. So I really only knew him from that. So when I saw him as a complete pushover in Daddy's Home to this really tough dude, I, it was hard for me to buy it in terms of getting into his character. But one of the celebrity cameos that I really did care for a lot that made me really happy and really joyful as I was watching it was seeing Matt Lanter. That guy is excellent in everything that he does. He's really great in that show Timeless, if you guys haven't had a chance to see that. But of course, most Star Wars fans are going to know him for voicing Anakin in the Clone Wars movie and in the Clone Wars TV series. So, Matt Lanter was a very welcome cameo. I really enjoyed his performance in it. He's, he's just such a good actor. Of course, he was playing a New Republic soldier, and it was really great. I... I really liked how they gave him just a couple of minutes in that scene to just kind of show Mando's humanity. The fact that while he is in the guild and he is a Mandalorian, he's also human. And since, you know, again, I say this every episode, we can't see his face, but we really see him with these human emotions and you can really feel the character through all of his armor and through his Beskar. And I just really think that that was one of the great ways that they did that. And the the way Matt Lanter acts is just excellent. He's really getting into all of his roles. I really, really enjoyed the twist where all of his crew turned on Mando and they had to trap him. And then Mando had to figure out how to get out and save himself. I thought the whole thing was excellent, especially because I really didn't care for his crew that much. So I was kind of hoping something was going to happen. I didn't expect that, but I'm really glad that Mando was able to put the screws to him. So that was awesome. Watching him outwit all of his crew members was great, and this is really what I'm talking about when I say it had a Batman meets Star Wars type of feel to the way that was shot, the way he locks them all down in the hangars. It was really great. It was kind of like uh, that scene in Batman where he's got his goggles on and he's trying to take down the Joker, and then it was also kind of like him in the Batman Begins film when he's first got his bat suit on and he's taking down those guys in the warehouse. It gave me that type of feel, which was excellent, and it's something that I really didn't expect to see out of Star Wars, but I'm really glad I did because those movies are great, and it's great to see it in Star Wars format. And the subplot with Baby Yoda and the droid was great. I love how we still see Mando's disdain for droids, 
and then we have that little reassurance of the droid's gonna be fine, blah, blah, blah. And then Baby Yoda clearly sensing something is up, and he's continuing to hide from him throughout the course of the episode as Mando's hunting down all of these crew members. And Baby Yoda using the Force at the end, I thought he was going to stop the blast or turn it on him and kill the droid. And he was just going to be standing there and everybody walked in. And by everybody at this point, I guess I mean Mando walks in and just sees this droid on the ground. And he was going to say like, good boy or something like that. But Baby Yoda using the Force at the end, the way that scene was shot, it was great directing. Making the audience think that Yoda saved himself or that he was about to get killed again. The way Mando shot him, shot the droid, was awesome. Dave Filoni... Another great cameo that I actually cared for. Takes out the base at the end with his... Oh, that was just great. I really enjoyed that. It was excellent. And so, overall, this episode is not my favorite by any means. But it's much better than the previous episode with the Harrison Ford wannabe. Very entertaining episode. I will happily watch it again just based off of the way it was shot and the way Mando outwits all of these other crew members. It was just so great and... I really enjoyed it. It's probably in the top half of the season out of the eight episodes we've gotten. It's probably sitting right around four for me. Uh, But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching. May God bless you and the Force be with you. If you enjoyed this episode, and frankly, even if you didn't, don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to help spread the word, please give this video a thumbs up and tell your friends to subscribe. Please check out the official Star Wars Coffee merchandise, and don't forget to check out all of the content playlists on this channel, including The Rise of Skywalker, The Mandalorian, and much more.